Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel. So in this quick little video, we are going to create a Blazor server application and we'll add a new Razor component to it. And afterwards, we are going to link that uh, component to the navigation menu. So whenever the user clicks on that item, the component should get loaded. So let's see how we can do that. So for this, we are going to click on this file menu, select start window. And from this dialog, we are going to click on this create new project and from the template template list we are going to select this blazor application project template and click on next we'll give this project a name and click on create here in this dialog we are going to leave everything as it is and just click on this create button now the project is uh, loaded into visual studio so what we are going to do is we are going to directly execute this application by uh, selecting this start without debugging option and we'll wait for the application to get up and running. So here we can see that uh, by default the Blazor application is having three different menu, uh, menu items. One is home, counter and fetch data. So we are going to add a new menu item here called my component and we load our own Razor component here. So let's see how we can do that. So in Visual Studio, we are going to go to this Pages folder and we are going to add a new item here. From this section, we are going to select this Razor component. We'll give it a name and we'll click on Add. We'll remove this boilerplate code and we'll have a page directive over there with a name, route name to be specific. And we'll add some code. The page address is and we'll save it. Now, in order to add this component to our navigation menu, we are going to the shade folder. And select this nav menu component here we can see we have all three different uh, items uh, nav items which we discussed earlier so in order to add our own we'll just make a copy of this list item paste it here and here we are going to specify the name of the component which we have given in the page directive so we'll paste that thing here and we'll just rename it to my component and save it. Well, that's it. That's the coding which we need to do. We'll go back to the browser and we'll simply refresh it. Okay, now here we can see that our uh, menu item has been added. So we'll click on it and we can see that our custom component is loaded. Well, uh, that's it from this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.